Hi, it's Kernetex here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to prepare Endeavor OS for Linux from scratch. And specifically, it's about the host system requirements, which is chapter 2.2 .2 in the um, Linux from scratch book. So what I should do is first of all show you that part of the book on the web browser. Wait for this to finish loading. Okay, so this is the part of the book, in particular chapter 2.2, .2, where it lists all the minimum requirements for the host, um, the packages that are required in the minimum versions, and there's this script which you can run to check and output whether or not those packages ex exist. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just uh, let's make this font bigger. I've got um, that script already on a partition, so oops, yeah. I'll just mount that first. and I'm going to run it just to show you. So normally you'd copy and paste this, but I've um, saved it in a file. So you can see that um, it's gone through and scanned all the packages. Um, and in fact, it looks like there's nothing to be done. Um, this is one that's usually on other distributions, usually needs to be set, but that's already pointing at bash. Um, there's another one there. Um, yeah, this one here, Yak, has got to be Pine Tools Bison. We've got all the compilers. Yeah, it looks like it's um, for Endeavor OS, the OS. There's nothing to be done. Now, this could be because um, I believe that Endeavor OS is based on Arch, which is kind of. Um, Bit like a source distribution, it can be built from source, uh, so it could be why all these packages are all in, installed, or it may be just a default selection that um, includes all the packages that are required for Linux from scratch. So, this is actually quite a good um, operating system to use, um, I would say, to build Linux from scratch because there's nothing more to be done, you could just uh, install this and get get going with Linux from scratch without any further ado. So um, with that, there's nothing else for me to show. Um, kind of a short video, nothing much to see, but um, if you did find it useful, in case you were wondering if there was any updates certainly to be done, I hope you have found it useful for that reason. Um, but yeah, if you did find it useful, click on the like button and subscribe to my channel if you want to hear uh, more videos similar to this. Thanks very much for watching. Goodbye.